Well, g'day curd nerds. Today we're doing the taste test for the Cots chili cheese. So Cots chili is kind of my own creation. It's a combination of Cotswold or Plowman's cheese uh, with some chilies as well. Uh, it was ready to eat on the 30th of September. I'm filming this on the 1st of October, so pretty close, which is really good. And the cheese, there's no moisture in the bag, in the vacuum packed bag, so uh, it was air dried properly, which is really good. I didn't have any issues with that. And it feels, it's not hard, it's, it's um, you can push into it, it's not, it's not soft either. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into it and have a look, shall we? Oh, that smells really good. So, uh, initial hints of uh, garlic and onion and chives uh, is what I got out of that to start with. Uh, it's a good looking cheese. A uh, little bit of moisture, as you can see in my hands. Let's just pat that down. But that's just from being in the bag. Other than that, no tarnishing or anything. There's no mottling on the outside so pretty good looking cheese which is good i'm impressed with that so let's cut it open shall we there we go so a few mechanical holes um so it's Pretty good, really. Oh, the smell is just amazing. So let's just put that quarter there. Cut this one in half. Nice. Pop that up there. Yeah, so a little bit of um, gas production, but that was the culture I used. So I don't think that was too much issues, but look at the chili and the, the colors. Um, Absolutely amazing. Let's cut a slice off. Yeah, a little bit crumbly, but that's it's not too bad. There we go, look at that. Absolutely picture perfect. So I cut a couple of bits. I'm hoping it's not gonna to be too too bitey, but we'll see. Take a piece with a bit of green. It's fairly flexible. It did crack there a little bit, but that's okay. Mmm. Oh, a little bit spicy. But you got the, the garlic, the onion, the chives, and the chili really hits you at the end. So you can feel though those those initial flavours are really outstanding and then all of a sudden you get this chilli bite on your tongue. Mmm. That's nice. Really nice. This um this reminds me of the texture of um uh Budokaiser or um Havati along that sort of texture, smoothness. Uh, a little bit creamy, which is good. But those initial flavors and then the chili bite, oh, it's exactly what I was hoping for. So good. Mm. What a success. But what I haven't got is some crackers. Let's get some crackers. Try it with a cracker. Now, you may have heard some little footsteps in the background. That's uh, Bonnie and Hamish. <laughs> I'm babysitting them, or doggo sitting uh, at the moment. Kim's having a rest. Let's try them. So just ignore those. They'll get a little bit of cheese later, but not with chili in it. Hmm.
adds a little bit to the texture. Enhances the flavor a little bit. Good thing is the, um, the salt content is spot on. So it's not too, um, it's not too salty. It's not uh, lightly salted. So there's no bitterness flavors coming through. Remembering the amount of salt that you use in your cheese determines whether you get a bitter aftertaste or not. If you use too little, then nine times out of 10, you're gonna get a bitter cheese. A bitter cheese is what I'm saying, B-I-T-T-E-R. Um, this is not the case. So this was salted correctly uh, and there's no aftertaste except for the chili, which is good, that's what you want. That is going to the pool room. Beautiful, that is a beautiful cheese. Oh. I can't get enough of it, so good. So, um, flavors. Um, let me just consult the flavor wheel. So, I have the flavor wheel, I'll put a link to where it is uh, in the, uh, the description down below. So, as far as flavors go, uh, it's a clean taste, slightly buttery uh, but then you get the um, the onion and garlic flavor which according to the chart says it's an off flavor but it's not the case because we introduced it into the cheese um, and the chives the chives probably add more to the color than the um, than the flavor of the cheese but definitely the chili um, really nice kick to this cheese so um, it was requested by Kim, my lovely wife, and um, she really wanted these flavor combinations to go together, and they certainly do. That's really good. So I am impressed with the Cots chili. So if you've made one, uh, and it's probably about time or close to it, to opening it up, if you made it the same week I did, then uh, yeah, you will be impressed. It is a delightful cheese and worthy of a cheese platter with your friends and family. Well, there's not much more I can say about this cheese, except it is amazing. Um, but if you wanna buy the ingredients to make this cheese, then pop over to littlegreenworkshops.com.au uh, and visit our cheese making section. Well, thanks for watching, Curd Nerds, and I'll see you next time.